Hello my crafty friends, it's Marie from Marie's Vermont Creations and I am going to make a full panel shaker card and you're probably wondering why I'm showing you a Halloween stamp set. I am going to be masking and doing some creative stamping with that stamp set. Um, I am using a sparkle blend, I Fallen Leaves is the name of it, this wood grain panel of paper that I had in my stash, and then these alcohol ink leaves that I had made from a long time ago, and then just some recycled packaging. So for the leaves, I had put them and glued another leaf to the back of it so that if they were shaking around in my shaker panel, it didn't have the blank side of the Yupo paper showing. So I just wanted to make sure that that was um, covered on both sides. So I wanted these pumpkins, but I did not want their jack-o'-lantern faces to be on my project. I didn't have other pumpkins that would fit this particular size that I was looking for. So I'm just going to take some of my tape here and creatively cover these faces just enough so that I don't mess with the outside lines because you don't want it to be too far over. Then I'm going to ink this up with my Gina K amalgam ink. Then the trick is make sure to remove the tape before you stamp it down. So I'm just going to peel this off and try not to smudge my ink and then I'm gonna ink this down in my mini Misty. And then voila, I'm going to have two pumpkins without faces. So then I am going to use my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers and color these pumpkins really quickly. And while I'm doing that, I wanna tell you about this hop. This is a hop for Team Tiny. This is an autumn themed hop. Uh, if you're not familiar with Team Tiny, I have a playlist um, that I can link in the right hand corner for you. We are a group of small YouTubers who have less than a thousand subscribers and we get together at least once a month to make videos and try to grow our channels together. So this is a hashtag driven hop. So the hashtag is in the description below and also in the title of my video. So all you have to do is click on that and you can see all of the projects. They should all pop up for all of the participants. There's usually between 12 and 15 of us um, in any given hop, depending on everyone's you know schedule and what they're able to do. So if you have interest in joining, if you are a content creator for crafting and you make cards and you're less than a thousand subscribers, um, let me know and I will send you the information for Team Tiny. Um, one thing to know is if you do request to join the group, if you do not answer the questions that we have on our Facebook page, we will not accept you. So you do have to go through and answer all of those questions for us. Um, so that's kind of how this hop works and I love doing these because it's fun to see what everyone um, comes up with, what their creations are based on kind of what theme that we pick. So once I get these pumpkins all colored in, um, I'm terribly slow when it comes to coloring. I'm working on it though. Um, so nothing fancy. There's no blending or multiple colors. I just did pretty straightforward coloring for these. And then I am going to fussy cut them out. I didn't want to drag out my scan and cut for just the two images and voila there they are. I did leave a white border around the edge and this is a slimline shaker card um, so I am just going to adhere these two pumpkins to the bottom right hand corner of this wood grain panel. I think this piece of cardstock may have came in a Simon Says stamp kit a long time ago which I was excited for because my embossing folder is not big enough to do a slim line and I wasn't quite sure how I would piece together the gap that I knew I was going to have. So I was very excited to find this in my scrap of cardstock. So I have some double sided adhesive on the back of this panel and I am going to remove each side as I go and fold over the packaging. This is just packaging from either a stamp set or stickers or something so it's not very thick and I'm able to um, easily move it and put it into the adhesive. I just want to make sure that it's it's tight enough so that it doesn't wrinkle on the front. And then I will take my scissors and just trim off the bulk that is in each corner. And I apologize if you can hear my dog snoring. She loves to snore every time I decide to do a video. So I am going to put my alcohol ink leaves in the top. 
and then I am going to add Fallen Leaves, which is a sparkle blend from Doodle's Paper Playground, and that is part of one of the fairly newer releases. So it has some fall looking leaves in there as well. So it goes well um, with the alcohol ink leaves that I have done. So I'm just going to dump some out so that you can see what I'm working with and then pour them in to my shaker panel and then flip it over and I will take the last bit of double sided adhesive off and fold over my last side and trim off those corners and then I will put some more double sided adhesive along the back of it peel off the backing and then I'm going to adhere that down to my card panel and I made it the full size of the panel so I'm just trying to line that up as best I can so that there's not any weird edges hanging out and just giving that a shake so I hope that you'll check out everyone in the hob and I hope that you enjoyed this project and as always I hope that you have a great day